So send mail is a message transfer agent or an MTA that's around since the early 80s and we can configure it to send emails using OCI email delivery. So to do so we'll use a Ubuntu instance so we can launch this in the compute console easily just by choosing the latest version of Ubuntu as the image. And then we're going to go to defaults, just give it a name choose a default availability domain um, instance type will be a VM or a bare metal shape and we'll just go with the minimum shape and we need to choose a root compartment so we're choosing a compartment just one below the root compartment we've already a VCN or a virtual cloud network set up already and then we just need to select the relevant compartment and choose a public subnet and we want to have a public IP here and then we just need to paste in our public uh, key pair and we'll connect later on with our private key pair so if we just paste that in here we can just hit create and while this instance is launching we can just navigate on the console to email delivery and we just need to gather some information and credentials so under email delivery and configuration we need to take note of the endpoint so in this case it's Ashburn and we're going to use 25 port 25 or 587 and we can navigate here to our credentials from here so we need to generate some SMTP credentials which is very easy from the console so just give it a name and then generate them so it'll only display this password once and the username is an OSID or an Oracle Cloud ID and these are credentials we'll use to configure a SendMail shortly so once this instance is launched we do have an option to move it to a different compartment in this case I've chosen the wrong compartment by accident so just to show you how easy it is to move resources we can just select the correct compartment and hit move resource and we can see it's updated into this sub compartment so next we'll connect to the public IP using PuTTY as standard and so the default username for Ubuntu is Ubuntu and I've called the instance send mail so I'm connected here and I'll just clear the screen for readability so first of all we need to install a few packages that are required so so just hit Y at the prompt and allow it to run and we also need to install two other packages just to make sure they're present so M4 is the other one oh wait that's M4 and we can also run sudo apt auto remove just to remove any unneeded packages and lastly we'll try to install another package required which is Cyrus SASO plain so next just make sure a certain directory is installed so if we cd to the Etsy directory we should see the mail directory here and if we do an ls we'll see there's a mail uh, directory created here and we need to create a configuration file in this directory so just cd into it and if there's not a file called int already created we need to create that so we'll do that next and we'll do so with sudo vi and then the name of the the, the, the the file we need to create so it's sudo vi etsy mail and then int is the name of the file we need to create so we hit the i for insert mode and we need to paste in this this information so the information is the auth int, then the endpoint, username root, and then we're going to put in our username here under OSID. This is the the username we generated in the in the console along with the password here, and then we're specifying plain for authentication. So just hit escape to come out of that right and quit to WQ to write and to quit. Next we need to generate the auth info DB file, so we do so with this command. So it's sudo sh make map, and then um, this is the file path we're trying to use. So at the command line again, we're going to add support for relaying to the OCI email delivery endpoint. So we do so with this command here. So it's the endpoint we got from the console earlier on under SMTP configuration. The next we need to regenerate the Etsy mail access DB file. We do so with this command. And then we need to create backups of the send mail configuration file and the MC file. So we'll do so with these commands. So all these commands don't give any confirmation in the output. You just run them. And if you have no output, that means they're successful, basically. So the next step is to add some settings to a configuration file. So if we clear the screen, and we need to find the send mail MC file and edit it. So we can do so with this command. 
it's in the Etsy mail directory and in sendmail.mc and then we're searching for the mailer definition so if we do a backslash to search and then mailer and we can see the definitions here so just hit enter to find it and then go into insert mode with I and we need to enter in the following configurations before these definitions here it's important so in insert mode just paste them in here so we're just defining the host as our endpoint we gathered earlier on um, it's port 25 the login authentication is plain here and we're just specifying the auth info file we created earlier and we're using the, the domain this is the domain we're going to send the email from so it's masquerading as oracle.com and then we've got these following settings here that were already there so just hit escape to come out of insert mode wq to write and quit and to save the file so next we just need to make the configuration file writable with this command and then we need to uh, run this command to regenerate the send mail configuration file and again we're running this with sudo and there's no output for these commands but once you've no output it's a good sign and so if we run these 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 commands and we get a, a, an error such as command not found or no such file or directory is usually because we haven't got send mail or m4 packages installed on the system so just double check the previous steps so next we just need to run reset the permissions for this uh, cf file back to 644 and then we can restart send mail with this command and this takes a few moments just to come up so once sendmail is restarted we can send a test email to make sure our settings are correct so we can do so with this command and just put in your sender email here so this is added as an this email address is added as an approved sender in the console and then the recipient email address so in the console under email delivery again I've already added this um, sender email as an approved sender and you can do that very easily just by entering in the email address and tag it if you need to and once we've done that we can hit enter here and then we just need to enter in our details so we'll put in from this email address and then to the recipient and this is my personal gmail address and then we can enter a subject and then we can just enter in some the body of the text so anything you want here and once we're done we can just hit uh, control D and then this will send a message so we'll give you a warning initially and this is because um, the host name hasn't been set so the host name won't work outside the local network so sendmail will attach the host name as the sender of the message but in this case it's just a warning uh, the process will work if we just give it a moment here but just for demo purposes we'll just leave that for the moment so in a moment we'll see confirmation in the output so this is where we ran our, our email we got the warning but then it retried and it sent the email so it connected to the, the host name we specified and we can see confirmation in the output that it, the authentication was successful and um, it started the encryption the TLS encryption and it just gives us confirmation then that the email was sent and the connection was closed and navigating to our inbox then we can verify this email was received and this was the body we gave it if you remember and we've got confirmation it's sent via oracle email delivery service